Aesthetics is a specific field of dentistry that strives to achieve the utmost natural beauty of the teeth. Initially, gum and tooth improvement techniques were developed for models, movie stars, and all others who felt a professional need for a beautiful smile and were willing to take certain health risks to achieve such a look. However, dentists have gone through extraordinary measures to improve such methods and make them available to a broader public. Today's materials and techniques have been vigorously tested and are proven to be reliable enough for everyday use. In the field of orthodontics, veneers, bleaching, internal bleaching, and or ceramic crowns can be achieved, and unfavorable gaps, tilted and dark teeth caused by old root treatments can be removed, resulting in an aesthetic and attractive, natural-looking mouth. We will discuss this topic further in the video by the same name. Furthermore, gum transplants and bone restructuring surgery allow for red-white aesthetics to be corrected. A pleasant and attractive smile can thus be measured, although beauty criteria differ from culture to culture. This means that Asians have a different standard of beauty than Europeans, for example. This animation describes a smile that would be considered attractive and beautiful in Europe and America. The gums are pale pink, closely connected to the teeth, and at close range, reveal an orange-like appearance. The first upper tooth is the brightest, the second is a little darker, and the third is the darkest. A smile is considered young and dynamic if we can see more teeth from the upper gums than the lower gums. Especially important for a harmonic appearance is the symmetry of the upper teeth. A slight asymmetry of the lower teeth enhances a natural look. Furthermore, to achieve a natural appearance, it's important to have the right interaction between space, room, and saturation contrasts, and a good combination of opalescence and translucence. Further parameters for an enchanting smile are red-white aesthetics and tooth geometry. For the first tooth, the highest gum point lies further out and is not exactly in the middle. The center line of the teeth should correspond with the center line of the face. The gum of the twos lies one millimeter below an invisible line between ones and threes. The cutting edge of the twos usually lies one millimeter below the ones and the threes. The contact area decreases towards the back. The intercisional triangles increase towards the back. The teeth which are visible from the front stand in a certain correlation to one another. There are additional parameters that can be measured on your teeth when creating an aesthetic smile. Taking those parameters into account during denture production guarantees the patient a beautiful smile.